He's five foot two and he's six feet four. He fights with missiles and with spears. He's all 31 and he's only 17. He's been a soldier for a thousand years. He's a Catholic, Hindu, an atheist, a chain, a Buddhist and a Baptist and a Jew. And he knows he shouldn't kill and he knows he always will kill you for me, my friend, and me for you. And he's fighting for Canada He's fighting for France. He's fighting for the USA. And he's fighting for the Russians. And he's fighting for Japan. And he thinks we'll put an end to war this way. And he's fighting for democracy. And fighting for the Reds. He says it's for the peace of all. The one who must decide who's to live and who's to die. And he never sees the writing on the walls. But without him, how would Hitler have condemned him at Dachau? Without him, Caesar would have stood alone. The legendary Native American folk singer Buffy St. Marie singing in our Democracy Now! studio in 2009. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. Well, today, as we head into the Memorial Day weekend, Buffy St. Marie joined, returns to the Democracy Now! studio. That song, Universal Soldier, has become one of the classic anti-war songs of the 1960s. She once said, it's about individual responsibility for war and how the old feudal thinking kills us all. Buffy St. Marie wrote the, the song in 1964. A year later, just months after U.S. ground forces invaded Vietnam, the British singer Donovan returned it turned it into a hit. Five decades later, she is still making powerful music. She's just released Power in the Blood. It's her first studio album since 2008. Buffy St. Marie has led a remarkable life. She was born in 1941 on the Piapot Cree First Nations Reserve in Saskatchewan, Canada. She grew up in Massachusetts after becoming an orphan. In the early 60s, she became a leading figure in the Toronto and Greenwich Village folk scenes. Her song, Until It's Time for You to Go, was recorded by everyone from Elvis Presley to Barbara Streisand to Neil Diamond. She's also written a song about the struggles of Native American and First Nations people for decades. She worked with the Indian Amer the American Indian Movement and began a foundation for American Indian education. Her political activism would lead her to be largely blacklisted from commercial radio in the 70s. On her new album, she re-records two songs from what's become known as <clears throat> her blacklist years. Buffy St. Marie, welcome back to Democracy Now! Thanks. Tell us about your new album. It's great to have you back in our, well, for you, new studio. <laughs> Thanks. Um, mm. And how you incorporate the past into the present. Well, the new album is called Power in the Blood. And uh, after, after I last saw you, uh, I had put together a band, and I told them that we were going on a two-year world tour. And all of a sudden, it was like five or six years into a two-year world <laughs> tour. <laughs> and uh, 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 True North Records came to me and said, you want to make a record? So we had been doing all these songs, new ones, old ones, uh, songs that either had been forgotten or had never made it to airplay in the first place, and a lot of new ones as well. So I was just ready to record. So that's what this album is about. Power in the Blood itself is, uh, has some very, very strong words about contemporary issues, GMOs and fracking and war. And uh, it was actually a song um, written and originally recorded by a group called Alabama Three, who you might know for the theme song from The Sopranos, woke up this morning, got myself a gun. And it was saying, and when that call it comes, I will be ready for war. So they're friends of mine. I said, this would make a great peace song. 
wrong. So I changed the words, updated it, and I said, and when that call it comes, I will say no, no, no to war. Uh, another um, uh, song on the on the album is called Carry It On. It's super positive. It's about contemporary stuff. It says, hold your head up, lift the top of your mind, put your eyes on the earth, lift your heart to your own home planet. What do you see? What is your attitude? Are you here to improve or damn it? Look right now and you'll see we're only here by the skin of our teeth as it is. So take heart and take care of your link with life. It ain't money that makes the world go round. That's only temporary confusion. It ain't governments that make the people strong. It's the opposite illusion. Look right now. You see, they're only here by the skin of their teeth as it is. So take heart and take care of your link with life is beautiful if you've got the sense to take care of your source of perfection. Mother Nature, she's the daughter of God and the source of all protection. Look right now when you see she's only here by the skin of her teeth as it is. So take heart and take care of your link with life and carry it on and keep playing and keep praying and carry it on. So this is an album of contemporary issues uh, involving some updated songs, some new songs, some songs by me and some songs by other people. Well, since your uh, your last album, the music world has been changing quite a bit. Can you talk? I'm wondering your com your sense of how music has been changing, the production of uh, albums, and uh, you know now with Taylor Swift and Beyonce becoming the big the, the big names these days. How, uh, what's happened to the music world? I don't know. I don't think the music industry changes a whole lot. Stars may rotate, but it's uh, there's an awful lot of uh, corporate push between some people and not other people. I think there's always an undercurrent of artists who are really, truly unique, and there's always, you know, an 80 percent of people who are following whatever's hot at the moment. But I think um, writers continue to write, um, uh, sometimes addressing contemporary issues and sometimes not. Uh, I just think the whole world in general has come a, a long way since I saw you last. Um, and then I think the general population is more awake now. There are a lot more people who are afraid right now, but it's because they've opened their eyes. Mm -hmm. You know, thanks to a lot of people like yourselves, um, people are, are acknowledging what the issues are. But still, you know, as in the case of Universal Soldier, still, if you if you look at um, if you look at our world today, we have five heavily funded colleges of war, and we don't have one such serious, properly funded college that teaches alternative conflict resolution. I mean, in India, people made changes because Gandhi taught them about alternative conflict resolution. There are a lot of things that people ought to be learning right now because people are awake, but they don't have the tools, the, the true tools for making change right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm always telling people, don't put yourself in a position of suicide by going up against somebody who's going to outgun you whether it's an army, a security force, a police force. We have to learn how to do things in a different way in order that we're not just killing ourselves while we try to make change.